To start our work, we will make a slip knot. Once you have your knot ready, we will start with the foundation chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over and pull through again. Repeat until you have the required length of your foundation chain. So once you have your chain ready, we will go in the second chain from the hook. So leave the first one, we will insert the hook in the second one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Here you have your first single crochet. I will insert a stitch marker here. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a paper clip. Continue making single crochets. So insert hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Continue making single crochets for the entire row. Once you reach the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Here you can see the top of each stitch. So each stitch has two loops. We will go under both loops. Leaving the chain 1 we made, we will go under both loops of the first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So here you have your first single crochet. Similarly, repeat for the entire row. When you reach the last stitch, remove the stitch marker. Insert the hook under both loops of the last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So this is how your work will look like. Repeat your rows to achieve the required length. 